Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I'm not using a canvas. I'm using something that I've never used before and I'm using a wooden panel. I've never painted on wood and I've definitely never poured on wooden panels. So this is gonna be something new for me today. And I'm also going to just do a flip cup. I've not done one for a while. I have some leftover paints from a previous creation and I'm just going to take my cup, I'm going to puddle the paint into the cup and flip it onto the wood panel, release the paint and see what kind of designs and creations can be made from that. I'm so pleased you're here with me. Let's see what we can create. So here's my wooden panel. It's 12 inches by 12 inches. And what I've done is I've just painted the sides of the wood panel with some gold. And here's my colour palette. So I've got a little bit of green that's left over. I've got a brown, I've got a gold, I've got a pearl white, and this is Pearl Marmalade by Arteza. So all my paints are mixed with Floetrol. I'll list all the ratios and the paints and the brands in the description box below. So let's start off by adding all that paint that we've got in our cups into one cup. And all I'm doing is I'm taking one colour at a time and drizzling the paint into the middle of the cup. So I'm taking one colour, I've got my green, I've got my brown, I've got my marmalade, I've got my pearl white and I've got my gold. And all I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit of that paint into the cup and then I'm switching to a different colour. And I'm going to do that until I've filled this cup right to the top. And when you're going through this creation process, don't forget to just enjoy that process that you're experiencing. You might think that all you're doing is pouring paint into a cup, and you are. However, just have a look at the paint as you're pouring. Look at the colours, look at the tones that are being created, and look at how those colours are infusing with each other. Just be in the present moment and be in the, the present moment with no judgment and no expectation and just allow yourself to really enjoy being in the here and now and in your creation process. Okay, so I'm nearly done. The paint is at the top of this cup. Here we go, there's all that paint in that cup. And I'm now going to place the wooden board on top of the cup and flip it over. So that's the beauty with using the wood board. It really just stays in place. I'm placing the wooden board back onto my cups. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait a couple of minutes, tap the top, and then release the paint from the cup onto the surface that you're using, whether that's a canvas, a wooden board, or whatever you use. And I'm just going to let that paint spread across the surface. It's all out of the cup, actually quite a beautiful design in the cup. And I'm gonna use my torch to get rid of all the air bubbles. There's quite a lot of air bubbles within this piece. And I'm just gonna allow that paint to react, to spread out, find its own way. You can see here some of those details and some of those tones that are forming. You can see all those colors that we've added together. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out across the, the board 
and ensure that there's full coverage. Ensure that the paint goes fully down the sides, back on itself and to the other areas so there's no white that you can see. I want all that paint to cover the surface area that I'm using. So I have cleaned my sides and my edges off so there's no drips. And I really do love how some of those colours are sitting underneath each other and almost kind of peeking through. But I do feel that there's something missing from this in terms of detail. I really love the colours and I love how those colours are working well together. But I want to add in some more detail. And instead of embellishing this once it's dry, I'm going to get some silicone and I'm going to get a wooden stick and I'm literally going to add some detail onto this piece whilst this is wet. So what I'm going to do is I'll take you in now and show you the process that I follow to add a little bit more detail and interest to this piece. I think the base colours are great but I really do want to add something like this that you can see here. You can see how the silicone has added some of those cells. So I'm literally dipping my stick into the silicone and I'm adding some drops of silicone onto the surface of this paint. And what that will do is it will work together, bring some of the colours up from the bottom and create some really interesting details a little bit like a flower or even a paw print from an animal i'm going to repeat this process on the full surface of this area and i'll show you the finished result So here we go, this is the wet version. I'm gonna let this dry for a few days. And I just love how, by adding just something delicate and something small to this piece, really helps this piece pop and just show some more detail and depth to this piece. And it also allows some of those colors to really come through. Now, because I've used silicone, it will mean that I'm gonna need to wash the surface of this before I varnish it. And that's one reason I don't really use a lot of silicone in other pieces. There's a lot of work to do after this piece is dry, but that's okay. Let me show you the dried version. I really love the finish of this. I love all those colours. I love the details that have popped through. And what I'll do is I'll drop all that information in the description box below. So if you've missed any of it, you can refer to that. If you've really enjoyed this, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up, give it a like. And I just want to say a big thank you to all of you for being here today. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for all of your comments, all of your likes, all of your subscriptions and all of your emails. I read every single one and it really means a lot to me. I'll leave you with more of these details and I hope I get to see you again in the next video. Take care of yourselves and have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.